Thank you for purchasing an LK Easy H2O bottle filling station with cooler LZ model. This is Russ. Russ will show you how to install your new bottle filling station. Here's what you need to complete the installation. Gloves, safety glasses, pencil, box cutter, tape measure, level, screw gun, screw bit extender, waist trap, and a multi-bit screwdriver. Advanced preparation includes installing an electrical outlet, water supply line, and waste drain where the water cooler will be located. See product specifications for more detailed information. Note that power cords are not included with all models. You must purchase separately or contact your local distributor for more options. Before you begin, turn off water and electricity to this location and follow local plumbing, electrical, and other applicable codes. Refer to the installation instructions included with the unit for more detailed information. Remove the screw securing the hanger bracket to the back of the cooler. Measure and mark 732 millimeters from the floor to the lower mounting holes. Attach the bracket by screwing into the bottom middle hole. These screws are not supplied. Then check to make sure the bracket is level. Securely anchor the hanger bracket to the wall using all six mounting holes. The hanger bracket must be supported securely. Add additional structural support if the wall does not provide adequate support. Place the cooler onto the hanger bracket. Be certain that the brackets are properly engaged in the slots on the back of the cooler. Remove the four screws that secure the front panel located at the bottom of the cooler. Remove the lower front panel by pulling straight down. Secure the unit to the wall with two appropriately sized screws and washers. These are not supplied. Using the bolt holes at the bottom of the unit. Make sure the screws engage in a structural member. Connect the water line. We recommend a connect stub of 3 8 inch outside diameter unplated copper tube with shutoff. The line should not protrude from the wall more than 76 millimeters. Now it's time to install the trap. Remove the slip nut and gasket from the trap and attach to the cooler waistline. Make sure the end of the waistline fits into the trap. Attach the slip nut and gasket to the trap and tighten securely. Thread the purple wire up through the basin hole in preparation for threading into the bottle filling station. Unbox the bottle filling station. Remove two mounting screws holding the top cover. Remove the top cover. Do not discard the mounting screws. They will be needed to reinstall the cover. Disengage the wall plate from the bottle filling station. Place the plate against the wall on top of the basin. Center the wall plate on the basin and mark the six mounting holes with a pencil. Attach the wall mounting plate to the wall using appropriate fasteners for your wall type. These are not included. The mounting plate must be supported securely. Add extra support if the wall will not provide adequate support. Install the black gasket on the bottom of the bottle filling station using the gasket support bracket, two washers, and two screws. These are provided. To prevent scratching the basin, you can place a towel or soft cloth over the entire basin when working above it. Thread the purple wire from the water cooler through the bottom gasket and attach it to the purple wire on the back of the bottle filling station. Note, yellow wire is not used. Thread the power cord and water line through the hole on top of the water cooler. Place the bottle filling station 
on the angled tabs protruding from the wall mounting plate. Make sure the round boss in the gasket fits in the hole of the basin. Reinstall the top cover on the bottle filling station. Don't over tighten the screws. Shorten the water line by removing the insulation and cutting the poly tubing. Make sure it remains long enough to reach the connection T. Then connect the water line to the T. Turn on the water to the unit. Inspect for any leaks and fix before continuing. Now remove the filter from the carton, discard the protective cap, and attach the filter to the filter head by firmly inserting and rotating the filter counterclockwise. Make sure the blue label is facing forward. Plug the cooler and the bottle filler into the wall. Activate the push bar to start water flowing to the bubbler. Placing a cup over the bubbler will direct the water stream down into the bowl as the water line is cleared of air. The stream height is factory set at 35 pounds per square inch. If your supply pressure is not 35 PSI, you will need to adjust the stream. The adjusting screw is on the left side of the unit under the push bar. Turning to the right will raise the stream. Turning to the left will lower the stream. Ideally, water will hit the basin approximately 165 millimeters from the bubbler on the downward slope of the basin. If continuous flow occurs at the end of the compressor cycle, turn the cold control to the left one quarter turn. Now verify that the bottle filling station is dispensing water correctly by placing the cup in front of the sensor area. Once you have tested the unit, replace the bottom panel and secure to the cooler with four screws. Congratulations! You have installed an environmentally friendly LK Easy bottle filling station with cooler. For additional questions, please refer to the installation care and use manual that came with your bottle filling station.